Hey guys, let's look at some more simplifications. First off, let's look at a review kind of a question like this, where we actually break this down and make it into one fraction, this complicated looking fraction like this. And of course, there's only two steps to this, if you remember, which is you find a common denominator when you have two parts to add. Then once you've found it, you end up with a division problem, this divided by that. And of course, we know with fractions, we just flip and we multiply. And then we just do it again and just keep finding another common denominator and flip and multiply again. And we've seen several like this that have, you know, a, a variable plus and then a fraction over a complex fraction. Look at this thing, though. Look at that. That is even more lovely looking. And you can take a second, of course, and copy that down. OK, um, the thing is, though, if you compare this to this, we just have another layer basically to do. And we might have a couple of layers and all we do, nothing different except we just do it more often. Uh, we just we're going to take find a common denominator, flip it and multiply, do the same thing over and over and over again until we're finished. And we have one fraction left and, it, and it's simple. So let's go ahead and do this part first. And this we can go ahead and probably do mostly in our heads. We can look at this one as uh, you know, we know that the uh, common denominator is x, so this will be x over x. So we can say this is going to be x plus 1 over x. So this is what our new fraction looks like. a over 1 plus a over again. Uh, that'll be x plus 1 over x. And of course, this is where we have our division problem. And this, when we divide a divided by x plus 1 over x, we flip this part and we multiply. So that gives us, again, we have an a and 1 plus. Uh, we have, of course, a over 1, we can call it, and then times x over x plus 1. That'll give us ax here and x plus 1. And now we're back to step 1 again. We find a common denominator. Obviously, this is going to be x plus 1. So we can rewrite this, if you'd like to, as not a 1. Uh, a fraction that's going to be x plus 1 over x plus 1. And both of these are the same denominator. So we can rewrite this as an a and then we have an x plus 1 plus ax all over x plus 1. All right now we have a fraction of course again and this is the part we need to flip and multiply so we can just go ahead and uh, say that a is going to be times x plus 1 in the numerator and then what's left in the denominator is going to be x plus 1 plus ax. And you might see the answer in the back of your book where they actually go ahead and distribute the a across there. But for our purposes, it's good enough. Okay. All right. Take a second and copy this down. Pause it if you need to. And we'll try it again. All right. Well, once again, we'll start down here. And probably you can do this in your head. Uh, we have y as our common denominator. That'll be xy over y. So our new fraction becomes, I'm just going to do this part, a little part at a time. So we have c over xy plus 1 over y, which of course means we're going to flip this and multiply. So we have cy over xy plus 1, all right? Okay, and that is going to be right here. I'll, I will go ahead and rewrite the new fraction now. So we have b over a plus and that's going to be cy over xy plus 1. And of course, we're going to have x plus, uh, excuse me, xy plus 1 as our common denominator. So let's go ahead and put this over here. And we'll multiply a times xy plus 1 on this uh, fraction here. So we have, let's go ahead and write the b again. And we have, we'll call it uh, axy plus a plus cy, it's all going to be over xy plus 1. And here's the bottom fraction you're dividing by. And of course, we'll flip and we'll multiply again. So we have b times xy plus 1 over axy plus a plus cy. And again, you're, you know, we, we've gone as far as we want to go here since we just have one fraction. And of course, your back of your book might have the b distributed out to the xy and the plus 1. So, okay, there you go. Let's try practice problem A. Go ahead and pause it, and uh, we'll come back in a second. All right.
point, let's go ahead and do this part here. A is our common denominator, so we have 3A over A. So our new part right here is going to be 3A plus 3 over A. Okay, We are dividing this into X. So actually what we're doing is we are, of course, flipping this, which will be X times A over 3A plus 3. Okay, and then, In other words, we've taken care of this part right here. Okay, now we have, and we're going to add, I'll just kind of squeeze this in here, 3 plus this fraction here. Of course, we know our denominator is going to be, you know what, let me go ahead and just move this down there. So we have 3 plus, then we have xA over 3A plus 3. Of course, our denominator is going to be 3A plus 3. And I'll multiply that by 3A plus 3. And we're going to get... 9a plus 9 plus xa over 3a plus 3, okay? And all that is going to be divided by 1. Well, anytime you divide 1 by a fraction, you're just going to reverse it, so you don't even need to think too much. 1 times uh, the reciprocal of this will be your answer. So you're going to have 3a plus 3 over... 9a plus 9 plus xa. And there we go. Okay, all right. All right, pause it and try b. Okay, well, first we're going to have uh, z as our common denominator. So this right here will turn into qz plus 1 over z. And that's going to be divided into p. And of course, we flip that, we multiply, we get PZ over QZ plus 1. Okay? And now we have X right here plus PZ over QZ plus 1. And we're going to, of course, multiply top and bottom by QZ plus 1. And we will get XQZ, that's an X, plus x plus pz all over qz plus 1. And this is what's going to get uh, divided by n, or into m. So m goes on top here, and of course we've got a big division sign there. And all we need to do is just go ahead and uh, multiply m by this for the numerator, and then leave the denominator the same. There's your denominator, xqz plus x plus p times z. And I'll go ahead and distribute that to M there. So we have MQZ plus 1 times M. There we go. Okay, and that's it for today. See you guys next time.